Uh, it's not all about the tools and the computers and, and everything. I mean, you got to think for yourself. You got to um, think through it um, as far as it, in technical skills, as far as like concept and, and, uh, and like thought process. It, I think people get so worked up in the, okay, it's Photoshop. Well, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Yeah. I mean, take a step back and and look at what you're doing it for. How you doing today, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. What have you been up to? You just working? Yeah, just working, working. Uh, I mean, getting as many logo designs done as I can. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the goal? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's always the goal. But that's what's up, man. Right. Uh, I'm glad we could we could have you on. Uh, the last, <laughs> so I did this with someone two days ago, and I mm-hmm. completely forgot to intro them into like halfway through. What we were <laughs> um, but it was a good time. Like that's that's why we kind of forgot about it was because we were just ha- we were just shooting back and forth. Um, yeah. So we had a lot of fun. Um, but I want to intro you properly. Um, so this is uh, Dylan Winters um, and. He does graphic design like all of us, <laughs> and I'll let you talk a little bit about yourself. Yeah, no, thanks for the intro. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I'm I'm pumped to be on with you and, and kind of just hang out here. Uh, but yeah, I'm, my name's Dylan Winters of Dylan Winters Design Co. And um, I uh, initially grew up in Pittsburgh my whole life. Um, recently, well. Eight years ago, I moved down to Uniontown, PA, where I live now with my wife and three kids. Um, that's where I'm doing all my design work there. And then uh, um, I went to California University of Pennsylvania, got a Bachelor of Science in Graphic Design, which is okay. kind of funny. That's a Bachelor of Science, but yeah. in Graphic Design. Yeah. Um, but we got I got that. And then uh, from there, moved on to... Um, a small design firm in uh, Morgantown, West Virginia, where mm-hmm. I worked for a few years, uh, working on logo design um, and a lot of print material, business cards, stationery, all that good stuff for yes. a variety, a variety of businesses. Um, and then I made my way to University of Pittsburgh, uh, Pitt Athletics, where I worked mm-hmm. for a, a little while doing social uh uh media design and mm-hmm. uh i mean my main focus there was logo design as well um just kind of creating a, event logos and and um uh, student section logos stuff like that just kind of like hone in on the branding aspect there and then uh and now i'm just kind of doing my own thing um just doing oh, freelance cool. design and uh just trying to build that while year after year so for sure. Yeah. Um, I always love when you po- you posted that pit logo the other day with the helmet and then the letters and it looked like teeth. And I was like, oh, that's so dope. <laughs> like I think yeah. it was Panthers. Yeah, it said Panthers yeah. and the teeth look like or the, the bottom of the helmet was like teeth. I was like, oh, that looks so yeah. clean. Thanks. Uh, yeah. The face mask. Uh, like yeah. uh, it says Panther pit. That's the student section. Um, oh, and I don't know. Have you ever seen like the players? They, they have those mouth guards. That have like the fangs in them. Do you ever see that? I have. I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what inspired that one. There. Oh, okay. It was a nice little peek. Like, <laughs> if you don't look hard enough, you don't see it. Like, but mm-hmm. I, I when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's really clean. Like, I love yeah. that stuff where on the second look, you you like catch it and you're like, oh, that yeah. was nice. Nice yeah. little touch. Thanks. Um yeah, but your work is always always great. And then I love your you're starting to use more like textures and everything in the in the stuff mm-hmm. that you're putting out. And I'm I'm seeing the the I've been following you for what it's probably been like two years now, probably, um, yeah. but just the getting you're just constantly getting better and adding more into your normal like design more elements in there like mm-hmm. it, it it becomes more um, pleasing like so it's it's really cool to kind of see that that happen for you. Um, and I'm again I'm happy you you're you're on the show. Um, <laughs> so let me explain this real quick. So. The, we're doing um, Do You Know Designers, which is, um, and I am your host, Cameron Davis, and 
what we're going to be doing is I am going to be asking you random questions from all over the board. They're going to be serious. They're going to be goofy. They're going to be design related. Um, but the whole premise of this is to show that designers aren't just robots. We don't just go sit in front of our computers and um, be boop, be about boop. logos. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not, we're not literally pixel pushing. We're not literally doing that. We are human beings. We we have a good time. We have families. We have thoughts. We have ideas. And I feel like sometimes we don't do a good job of showing that off. So mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to bring people on to kind of show their own personalities because nowadays that's what people are into. Like people are into hearing what what you got going on t tomorrow mm -hmm. and and what you got going on with your family. They they they're really into that kind of stuff nowadays. Um, so that's really the premise of it. So I'm going to ask you random questions. And the best answer wins. So me, <laughs> my answer, your answer, best answer wins. Um, that means elaborate as much as you need to make it funny. Whatever you want to do, go there. I, we just want to see your personality. Um, so have fun with it. It is really just the premise. Um, so we're going to start with a lightning round um, to kind of get the grease the wheels and get it going. Um, so I am going to ask Marvel or DC. Uh, that's an easy one. I would say Marvel. <laughs> that's way too easy. I mean, I, I all right. So like, I, I'm going to just say that, like, I'm, I'm one of those people that like, I won't watch something because everybody's watching it. So like, <laughs> it's been a, it took me a very long time for me to like, get into to all the Marvel movies and the whole story. Okay. And like, there's just so many layers. Yeah. that it's just it's it's unbeatable because of that there's just so many <laughs> layers to it that they just connect everything it's it's just great to watch it's so amazing have you what did you watch that new spider-man trailer i did not i'm i bro i might not i might not okay but, okay okay that's fair <laughs> that's fair that's fair i this is the movie to do that on i 100 yes. say this is the movie yeah. um i'm definitely marvel too i think dc dc has always been like lazy in the stuff that like when it comes to like their cinematic universe, they've been so lazy and kind of, well, we're DC kind of, but they do a good job at like the animated series that they do are usually really good. So okay. um, we've been watching Young Justice. They just put a new season out of Young Justice and uh, on HBO Max. And it's from season one, we're rewatching the whole thing. They have like, I think this is like the fourth or fifth season, but from season okay. one, it was bangers. It used to be on Cartoon Network and um, they made it for like, I think they made it for like boys, but they got mad that so many girls were watching it that they took, they canceled the show. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's Why? so good. Like it has such a good storyline. So they got yeah. mad and they canceled it, but there was, it was like, became like a cult thing, cult following. So they brought it back on HBO Max. So I'm, okay. yeah, it's solid if you, if you want to go that way. Okay. Next question. Adobe or Affinity? Uh, Adobe. <laughs> There's not, uh, not much more to say with that one either. I don't yeah. think like, I mean, I've never really, I can't, all right. I can't say so because I've never tried Affinity. For sure. But um, I'm just so used to everything with Adobe and yeah. um, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it, it almost becomes automated to you because like you're just used to everything. You're used to your tools, you're used to where, yeah. where you do with everything. I, I don't know. It's just, that's just me. It's, it's almost like Apple where everything kind of talks to each other. And mm -hmm. so like to go and learn something new would kind of be like, I don't know. I'll always say that Adobe is like, that's really considered the professional tools of use. Oh um, yeah. It is. So standard, that's, yeah. Yeah. The standard. So that's why I always go that way. But I've heard people were like, ah, down with Adobe. So just wanted to check. <laughs> yeah. Gonna have a revolt every once in a while, I guess. <laughs> every once in a while. Okay. I don't know if you listen to hip hop, but Drake or Kanye. Oh man, um, I, ooh, I would say I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Drake. It's just it, okay. it, each each album is just it's, it's fun. I mean, he doesn't miss, so like yep. it's it's hard to compete with that. I mean, I back in my high school days, I loved early Kanye, like College Dropout. Oh yeah, I love that, but I don't know. It's just I I, I get it when like artists want to explore and do different things, and I I. I like more more kudos to Kanye for that for mm -hmm. doing different things and trying that but like when somebody has an established sound and like I I vibe with that and then I continue to vibe with that I don't just push it away you know for sure yeah and that's I always have a hard time picking these two because 
Um, Drake, do, he makes fun music. Like you just have a good time. And I feel like Kanye, um, I love overproduction. So <laughs> Travis Scott, Kanye, like that's like my time. I could sit there and like vibe out and kind of, and he's not really rapping about anything. So it's really about like the beat and everything. So um, it just depends. Like yeah. for me, it's probably Kanye edges Drake out a little bit, but so you can't beat a fun Drake song. You cannot. Yeah, you um, can't. <laughs> but you're a huge Mac Miller fan who I am also, and it's yeah. I'm really sad Mac Mac passed away, but um, he was going somewhere. Like, I feel like him and uh, Tyler, the creator, they're like, their sounds were becoming so mature and they're like bringing in like jazz and other types of music. And like, ultimately that's me. Like, I love, that's the, the type of music. I always, whenever a Tyler album comes out, I'm there. Whenever Mac's albums were out, I was there. Yes. No, it, no, for sure. It was definitely a shame um, that he passed away so young. I mean, such a, like, I guess, like a brilliant mind. Like he, like he was honing in on everything. Like it, it seemed like he knew where he wanted to be, and the whole swimming in circles I, sure. ideal there is just like, uh, it's just to see that all come together even after his passing was like amazing to see. So like, if he was still with us to see that. Yeah. To see him like actually produce that all the way through what would have been something but yeah i mean definitely uh definitely yeah, I, glad they were able to to still kind of continue his legacy and, and keep going on so for sure that like and that's what makes me so sad about that um his story is like i feel like he was about to go on tour and i had watched like a documentary that talked about like tour was his safe place he's like when i'm on tour i feel good I usually don't have any issues. And then it was like a couple days before tour and I, that just broke my heart. I was like, yeah. Um, yeah. No. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, um, I don't know if you heard it, but I think it was young, young thug put out an album recently and the last song on it was with Mac and the, oh, the title of the, the title of the track is called the day before. And it was oh. literally the day before, which is just, insane to think about i mean i don't know yeah. if they he titled that later but i mean that was that's crazy to hear like the, the day before and literally the next day he passed away so yeah i, remember I, I, I need to go find that, that. <laughs> yeah you go listen to that yeah all right so we got one more um lebron or kobe uh all right so like i'm just gonna promise this that i like I used to love college basketball growing up. Like I mm -hmm. paid attention to that more than anything. Like my, like I grew up in a city at Pittsburgh, so gotcha. we didn't have a, a pro team. I mean, I mm -hmm. went to like a Cleveland Cavaliers game that they, I think they brought to, to, to uh, Pittsburgh for some reason. And, uh, but I mean, I grew up watching Pitt uh, basketball. So the, the older I get though, the more I've been, I've been paying attention to NBA and, I, and I've been watching it more and more. Uh, but I mean, there's just so much legacy, I guess that Kobe has already yeah. surpassed that it, uh, I'm going to go with Kobe. There's just that, it, it, I don't know. It's probably like the most <laughs> common answer nowadays, but like for sure that, that mentality that he had, that competitiveness, it, it's hard to beat that I'd say. It's unrivaled. He was, he was in, I don't know, just to lock in that much mm -hmm. um, blows my mind. Like, cause even with the stuff we do, we get to, we do get to lock in. We get to kind of mm -hmm. tune everything out and, and go there, but to be that locked in on your purpose and your mission and to, uh, the mama mentality will always be something that people like reference and know about. Yeah. So I, yeah. I don't, I think I see again, I get stuck in the middle <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're answering these questions and not me um but i i like lebron's when it comes to creating like his empire like he's mm. created uh, like schools for children already and like he has yeah. a media network and just creating things that have like some longevity and especially for like his family and, and people that look like him like yeah. is is something to also speak about but i think kobe was right there too like we yeah, just no. he just didn't get enough time like I, I know he was probably working on some of that stuff too so oh i bet yeah i, I mean could, could you imagine could you imagine wait if you're like working with if, if you worked in a studio of designers and like you came in every day and like 
there was somebody with the like, like the uh, lights were all off. Okay, uh-huh. and there's one person in there. And they're there, and they're there before you. Like I'm gonna get better than you. Like, could you imagine <laughs> that? Like, that's, yeah. what, that's what Kobe did. Like, <laughs> for sure. Like, I haven't even seen. I haven't seen it in real real life. But it would probably make you like pack up. Be like, I'm good. Like, you can have it. I'm okay. Like. <laughs> If you need a trophy, I will make you a trophy. Like you're the man. Like, because yeah. um, and I've seen it in like, because I worked in corporate environments. Like I've seen that the like the manager is the first one to be there, but they're not doing anything. Like <laughs> they're in there reading the newspaper yeah. and like eating breakfast. Yeah. Um, but someone with that type of mentality is terrifying. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I like I like more the speed of uh, like whenever I was in college. Uh, shout out Coover Hall. We all that's where we all us designers hung out at, and uh, I made this one graphic when we were in there, and it was an illustration of the the building and just those four lights on the on the uh, uh, the four windows on the upper uh, part of the building were on because. I weird. I mean, we were just hanging out there all the time and just, yeah. just hanging out doing design. I love work. that about college. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just the you are hang out for no reason. You'd be like, yeah, well, we just right. all in here now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely miss that being an adult now. You got like responsibilities yeah. and stuff. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, go pick up my kid. Like, yeah, I got a few of those. <laughs> <laughs> few of those responsibilities. All right. So for the next portion. I am going to click the number generator right now. All righty. And ask the first question. Okay, this one's deep. Um, <laughs> what is the best way for a person to attain happiness? I would say finding, finding that through yourself rather than somebody else. Um, I mean, it's called like, kind of, I guess a journey for yourself to find that happiness. Uh, I don't, I don't know if there's a specific reason or way to, but I, I would say you have to look through yourself rather than somebody else to find that happiness. I agree 100%. Like, it's like, you kind of have to create your own standard, like mm-hmm. a standard for yourself and joy for yourself and the things that you like find interest in, um, I think that's a, a great way to, to put that. Um, if I were to answer it, I would probably say, um, dang, that was a good answer. Like, <laughs> I think that might be. <laughs> um, no, so like, uh, I guess another hip hop reference, but comes to mind, but like J. Cole, uh, the song Love Yours. Like, I mean, that's, yeah, that makes that's a it. lot of sense. Like, you know, if you're not happy with what, like what your, your, your day-to-day life is and what you're really searching for. If you're always searching for something else and the, the next best thing, like you, you're never gonna be happy. So it just sure. makes a ton of sense to me through that song, I guess. But, yeah. Do you feel like you you live that way or do you, do you feel like you're getting there or have you ever struggled with it? Um, I mean, yeah, I guess a little bit. I mean, I've, I guess from a design perspective, yeah, because like, I mean, I've had other jobs that weren't designed and i'm like oh man i need i need to be doing this and like i think i found a good a good uh solution right now like just of what i'm doing and and that works for me and works for my Mm -hmm. family and like it i'm really happy with what i'm doing right now so it 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 makes sense you know for sure yeah i i will definitely say i've i've struggled with like knowing what happiness is supposed to be compared to like what you think it's supposed to be like when I was growing up, it was a lot about like expectation and like, well, you're going to go to college because you're going to get a good degree. So your degree pays for your student loans and then you're going to get married. Like everything was kind of like on a track. And then you realize like once you, especially once you get out of college that the real, like real life is you don't know that what's going to happen the next day. So you Mm -hmm. can't really depend on this schedule you put together for yourself. You can only depend on the stuff that, you want to like have fun with you know, the stuff you you find joy in like getting to design every day for me now is mm. so much fun like it's such and i find such immense joy in it and like before like doing the engineering work i was doing i just hated my life and i was like but i but i of course i was like oh i'm the man i made it to i'm an engineer i'm making <laughs> x amount of money but yeah. it 
is it are you happy like and yeah. are you willing to change that is really the the real question so right no i remember i remember we had that talk uh yeah you were telling me about that yeah you, that's what you did but like that's not what you love so like no. getting to do what you love is is awesome i mean it's it, i mean it, n nothing beats that from a like a uh a work perspective i guess yeah then it doesn't yeah feel like work so it doesn't it just feels like you're messing around every day you're like oh, i'll play and stuff and stuff <laughs> until you have stuff due and you're like well i yeah. can't i have to be taxable <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see what we got for the next one all right what are unwritten rules uh what are some design unwritten rules like some unwritten rules of design unwritten. that we don't talk about but Oh, I, I guess there's like two directions you could go in this of like, maybe you don't name your layers and you're okay, like in Photoshop, <laughs> like maybe you're okay with that. I mean, if you're not, I mean, if I, I learned a lot with that uh, working at Pitt because uh, I mean, you, you do have to pass on a lot of templates to others, yeah. other SIDs and, and whatnot. So um, from that perspective, um, if I'm working for on something for myself, it's hard for me to like, all right, I'm going to take the time to name this layer and then this layer. Like I, I gotta get stuff done. So for sure. <laughs> I know that I'm the only one touching that, but if it's some, some, uh, something for somebody else, like then, yeah, yeah. I kind of get it all neat and organized for you. For sure. I, I, I think that's a good one. Um, I'm also of the, <laughs> I don't name, I don't name anything. I'm yeah. like, I gotta move. Like I have to get this done. Um, it just feels like bookkeeping to me and I, yeah. that's my like mortal enemy, like me and bookkeeping keep, me fighting. Yeah. Um, I think one written of un, one unwritten rule of design. Um, I, I feel like people in design are so nice. Like, mm. I think it is to be like kind and friendly to like the next designer. Like oh, you don't man. really like, it does, it's not said, but I feel like everybody is so like, accommodating and nice and willing to help and um mm -hmm. it's a, a cool world to be in like i don't know if you feel that way how do you feel about that <laughs> oh, one second can you hear my kid crying a little bit but you'll probably hear mine later <laughs> sorry hey if, if it's if it's an issue i could bring them down it doesn't yes. matter all right <laughs> Sorry about that. No, you're good. I understand. It's I be having in... to do that in meetings. Like I'll be in meetings sometimes. I'm like, okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's tough being the the younger brother of two sisters. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I can only I, imagine. Yeah, I feel for him. So, <laughs> <laughs> but what I was saying was um, one of the unwritten rules of design that I feel like is um, I feel like people are really friendly. Like I feel like. It's just to be nice to like your fellow designers and, and just mm -hmm. to like appreciate each other. And when you have a nugget and you want to share it, share it. Like, mm. um, I don't know if you would agree with that, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for the most part, yeah, I would say, I mean, everyone's usually very un inviting. And I mean, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm open to talking to whoever, like if anyone, anybody ever sure. hits me up and they're like, hey, can I run this by you or hey, can, can we talk? I mean, I'm open to whomever would want to, you know? Yeah, I think you were the, one of the first people I hit up. Like, mm -hmm. um, I was like, let me let me, let me, me uh, DM this guy. And you were like, yeah, no problem. And we sat down and I think we talked for like an hour. Yeah. And I was oh, like, yeah. when I first um, got laid off, I was just like, I don't know what to do. Let me go yeah. find some people who do. And you're <laughs> one of the first names that kind of came to my mind. And I was like, okay. And then we sat down and talked and you, like, it was just, amazing to see someone be like nice to you when you didn't really like you least expected it like no, so that was, that was really perfect cool. i'm glad you i'm glad you learned that like like the design community can be what it is you know like For sure. i mean i've had somebody uh recently reach out to me and help me out so like it's always about paying that forward and i think the design community is really good in doing that for sure yeah i think so um all right, so we got the next question. Um, for someone starting design tomorrow, what advice would you give them? Uh, it's not all about the tools and the computers and, and everything. I mean, you gotta think for yourself. You gotta 
um, think through it um, as far as in technical skills, as far as like concept and and uh, and like thought process. It, I think people get so worked up in the okay, it's Photoshop. Well, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Yeah. I mean, take a step back and and look at what you're doing it for. Look at what like like look at the purpose of the project you're you're doing and mm -hmm. see how you can uh f like fulfill that project in a couple ways or or how to how to kind of take action to to get that project done um yeah i mean like I, like i said it's not all about the the tools and and everything it's not about oh i can do this so let's do it yeah. uh, i would i would say it's more about the thought process behind it and and uh and getting getting the design accomplished so i agree with that so much um and that's something that uh you start to realize is like people aren't really paying you for doing these cool things they're paying you because you've thought strategically through something and yeah. you're giving them an answer that fixes their problems and makes them feel comfortable with kind of what's going on mm -hmm. um so yeah that's always the best place to start is like being strategic um I think my advice would be that because everybody's always like, well, I need clients, I need clients, I need clients. Mm -hmm. And my advice would be to realize that design is a really a business to business um, type of world. So that means that you plant a seed tomorrow and that seed might not pay off for another year. Yeah. But it, it takes like it takes time. It really does. You, you, you go to and you do a conference and you meet a bunch of people and you mm -hmm. expect them to show up at your door tomorrow. So probably it's probably going to take you going to that conference the next year for you mm -hmm. to even get one person that shows up and like feels comfortable with you um i yeah. think i read something the other day that said like people need to see you or see your brand seven times before they decide to spend any money with you or, or work with you in any way and i was like that's a lot of investment <laughs> yeah no that is that's that's smart though i mean I, I, that's a good lesson though too to to be patient you know yeah um because I mean, that's taken me a, a while to like, I've kind of inserted myself into a, a niche I'm trying to create where like, like I, I, I love creating for people. So I'm mm -hmm. uh, kind of focusing on uh, logo design and brand identity. So um, like if you've seen my Instagram lately, mm -hmm. I've posted a lot of like, you have the logo, but you also have the person with the logo trying to kind of convey that like yeah it's a logo it's it's, it's cool it looks great but like it's also uh it, it's also like representing that person so um and that's just kind of something i've been trying to hit on and uh, uh, with like sports and entertainment and been trying to get like uh i guess athlete logos mm -hmm. i've gotten one so far as a uh college uh collegiate wrestler from ohio state and I'm thinking, oh man, I got that one. Maybe I'll get some more. And it, it, it hasn't hit yet, but I'm still working at it. I'm still trying to network and try to find different avenues to to get something done. I mean, hopefully a pro player one day, you know, it's- For sure, that'd be sick. It, it takes time. <laughs> it, 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 it does. does take time. You can't like, and then you can't just expect it just to happen. So sure. um, it definitely takes time. So be patient and, and just keep working at it if it's something that you want to, to be doing yeah for sure is this your first time niching have you ever niched in the past um i mean i if you want to call logo design niching i mean i i yeah. that's my main thing is is logo passion. design um that's that's my passion is is that it specifically mm -hmm. um i i branch out at like with different projects every now and then but that's the main thing that people come to me for that's and uh and what and what i do so yeah yeah um because I always get that, like, there's always that, do you do it or do you don't do it? And I, I feel like um, I'm always, like, fighting back and forth on, like, well, where, where do I go? Like, but I've really been trying to kind of niche into um, just being a creative studio. Like, whatever mm -hmm. you need, we can kind of help you if that's brand identity, if that's a flyer, if that's a banner. Like, we can kind of do anything you need creatively. Yes. Um <clears throat> And then if you need a, a full brand built, I kind of have a little a little strategy that I put together that kind of helps people with that. Um, but yeah, it's it's tough because some people are like, well, I go, I'm going full gyms, <laughs> full fitness no. gyms. And you're like, yeah, good luck, my guy. Like, 
<laughs> yeah, some that people sounds... have luck with that. But yeah, I, I, I it's funny because I've I've had like uh, at least two like personal trainers in, mm -hmm. in the last couple months, and it's like I have a little network there that uh, I know a, a few guys from uh, Ohio that they they're real big into fitness and uh and they've thrown me some some jobs my way that like like i it's almost like i was starting a niche in that but i mean yeah. like i'm 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 open to any type of logo design any mm -hmm. type of uh, industry like i'll take it on so for sure that's kind of and I, I i do want to say um for you i did i did see that motion uh that you added to that logo to, yeah today you posted it that was good yeah thank you, you. you i was did any motion yeah, I've done, a, I think that was like my fourth motion project. Like I've okay. done a, a podcast intro for somebody, but that yeah. was like brand new. I had just found it. And this was, and I had bought like uh, animation off Envato and updated it. That was like another thing. But this is like the first one where I like planned it, did all the strategy yeah. for it and like set it all he, up. But- um, He's an in was, and he's an out. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And cause I think, I think motion is important, especially yeah. nowadays. Um, as we, cause we, we talk about like why, why logo design looks as simple as it does now um, is because it needs to be put so many places when it comes to digital print. Like, so we have to have it simple so that we can, it can look and work its work for you the best. Um, mm -hmm. But I think coming right behind it will be animation. And I think we're talking about like NFTs and all this, all that, no, all that NFT talk is going to fuel some things that really help get us to like animation and motion being more part of people's brains so yeah that'd be no, really i need cool. i need to step it up with that too i've done some um the panther pit one uh whenever we released that i had it i had it come down and chomp down and, oh dope uh, yeah. oh, i'm excited I'll, to see that yeah i'll have to show you that um, okay dope it, it's in the old colors the old pit colors the, yeah. the vegas gold but that that's whenever we released it was whenever there was those were the still the primary colors but um but yeah, yeah, I'll have to send you that so you, you could see that one. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, if, if you can get in, get in After Effects and play, it's fun. Oh, yeah. And then I was talking to somebody the other day and they were just talking about like, the most important thing is to be able to help solve people's problems. Because mm -hmm. when it comes to being, it, even if you do logos, um, sometimes people just need, they just need something solved. And to have the ability to say, okay, I can work in this room for you this time and really help you out, can really right. like change somebody's life. And even if that's paid, not paid, whatever mm -hmm. it is, to have those skills to be able to help. I, and that's how I always feel about this also, is like, I would give, I would do it all for free if I could, like, cause yeah. I love it so much. Like yeah. I have such a passion for it, but it I would can't. Take the stressful, it would take the stressful part out of design, you know? Like, it would, really, <laughs> <laughs> it would, but we, we do have to do it for money, so. When I do get those opportunities to do it for a reduced cost or for free for somebody, it's always um, a good time. And it's always fun because you can kind of, you're like, well, you're not paying anything for this. So I can kind of go out there and give it my best <laughs> shot at whatever I want to do. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. So that's always cool. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I got the next question for you. Um, which villain from a movie or a TV show did you think got it right? Which villain? Did you watch Shang-Chi Shang yet? I haven't, but I I know what happens. Go ahead, go, go, just say it, oh, just say I, it. I, I mean, no. I under, I could see why, um, I mean, it's escaping, names escaping my mind right now, but the dad, yeah. um, I can see like why he was so obsessed with trying to uh, get his wife back. I don't, I, I don't know. Am I gonna, I'm gonna ruin something for somebody that didn't watch no, it. No, no, if they haven't seen it by, this is gonna come out to the first of the year. If they haven't seen it by the first of the year, they'll be okay. I oh, okay, all right. Spoiler yeah. alert, spoiler alert. You can go ahead. They can move forward. They can move forward yeah. in the episode. Go ahead. All right, so I, I, I mean, he he lived for what, 10 lifetimes and, and he lost the one person who made him feel like a human and one well not, like wanted to actually grow old with yeah like living that many lifetimes and finding that one person to 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 actually put down the rings and want to like want to want to grow old with and and, yeah. and die with 
that I mean that I felt like that that could mean a lot for somebody. So sure. I, I understand how he kind of became that villain there. So yeah, especially being I don't know having a family like a lot of the family stuff. Like especially being dads now, you're just like, oh gosh, of course, like it hits you, yeah, it hits you so different. Like when you yeah. didn't have kids, you're like, what is wrong with this guy? And then you have kids, and you're like, you understand? Like there's this yeah. movie called um, John Q. It had Denzel Washington in it, and he yeah. like held a, his son needed like a kidney or something, and he held a whole hospital hostage until his son got that kidney. <laughs> like gun at gunpoint and yeah. like before i was like that's a little wild but now i'm like i get it like yeah. <laughs> I, I i i understand that you probably shouldn't hurt anybody but yeah pushing a couple people around i i get that it. to a minimum yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> um i hope people are like man that cam he's <laughs> but i'm just saying i get it i understand yeah, yeah. like once you're dad you're like i'll do anything for that for that mm -hmm. little guy like You'll 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 make it happen. So yes. yeah, that's no sometimes you yeah. And then like some of these movies are like um these parents want like that are like have abundance, like a lot of money. And they're like, Yeah, I just did all this because I wanted you to have a lot of money. And then they give it to the kid and the kid doesn't like learn yeah. anything now. And it's like I felt like it's such a like tight like it's a tight again, a tight rope to walk because you're like do you make life easier for your kid? Like, or do right. you like add the challenge to them? I, mm. It's a fine line. Like, how do you really it figure is. that out? It is, yeah. You really gotta kind of find that that line where like you're letting them do for themselves. And then for sure. And then when they need you, then you're there for them. You know, it's it's a fine line. So yeah, I want I agree 100 percent Okay. Um, next question. Where do you find inspiration? uh everywhere i mean everywhere. <laughs> that's, that's my yeah i mean everywhere i mean for sure you're you're thinking taking a walk or you're just getting inspiration from other designers and the the mass amounts of just There's like design work that you see daily um, non-design stuff i mean it, like some of <laughs> some of my best like ideas and thoughts came from like working at a non-design job where I'm like I'm doing like not automated work but like work that you don't really have to think doing mm -hmm. and you're like oh man I, I have this freelance logo right now and I'm you're just thinking and it's like okay like I, I think like just open time kind of lets you think freely and For sure. I would say that that's a big part of like where I find inspiration is just open time and trying to uh again just think freely and and not have 20 different things coming through your head because then you're not going to find any inspiration um yeah so i would i would say just just that just thinking freely do you carry around a notebook or anything like do you like oh i just hit me and you sketch or do you do any of that so i'm i'm i'm, I'm i don't have an iphone <laughs> I have a Galaxy Note because Gosh. of the stylus that is, I mean, it's how many, how many years old, but it has yeah. a, a, a stylus in with it. So yeah, when something hits, I take that out and jot that down and sketch on my phone. Yeah, that's one reason, like if, if I would get an iPhone <laughs> if they ever had like a stylus built in, but I doubt that would ever happen. I, yeah, I think they're just trying to push people to the iPad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I when those phones came out, I was like, oh, that's that's genius. Like that's really smart. But mm. I'm definitely an Apple person. Yeah. So <laughs> No, I mean I got everything else. I just I don't I just love having that stylus on hand. Got you. Um I would definitely say inspiration for me, yeah. It come it's everywhere. Like, and that's why it's so important to just live and experience things. Um I know they talk about comedians, like comedians having to make sets. They're like yeah, some say they have like a hard time making a new set if they haven't lived like something new in their life. They haven't experienced anything new in their life. It's like really hard. I feel design's the same way. Like you kind of get, you can get stuck in a rut if you're not like taking in a different angle or taking in a different medium or, or trying to like just do things differently all the yeah. time. So um, I definitely try to take in, there's a bunch of like 
everybody's work is so dope and i just try to take in as much of everybody like who i think is cool and and really just sit there and ponder on it and think about it um i yeah. just recently got into like john contino i hadn't mm -hmm. like ever seen like or paid attention to like any of his stuff mm -hmm. and i saw some of his like i was i think it was on behance and i saw some of his work and i was like that's oh, so dope. And I went yeah. and bought his book like right in, like automatically. I was like, I gotta go buy this book. And oh, it's like, yeah. it's like, I think it's like a hundred pages of like dope work. Mm. And just the, he he keeps it very real. Like in his work, it's like, uh, yeah. I would say like textured, but like for, like the freehand textured feel. Like organic. Uh, organic and it feels so natural. Yeah. Um, it's really cool. Like, so I, that's when, uh, with that project, the, the hang man that I just did, that's the, mm -hmm. a feeling I was trying to, trying to get to is like, let's stop trying to be so perfect. Let's just throw some, some, um, some pixels down on the screen and let's move on to the next thing and like, see what kind of comes out of it. Um, yeah, no, so. that's cool. That's cool. Um, cause, uh, on the, on the flip side, like my, my professor, whenever I was in college, always said, I, I tried to design too uh, symmetrical. Yeah, so he said, I always tried to do that too much. I mean, with everything, with like layout, mm -hmm. with, with whatever I was doing, I tried to do to be too symmetrical. So um, it, it's all it, it's good to kind of find that balance of creating something like like that is buttoned up. And then when it and then on the uh, other side, create mm -hmm. something that calls for that, that kind of organic feel. And and I think those are two good extremes to to sure. have in your in your arsenal i mean yeah um just right yeah just right there you're able to create so much in that middle ground like mm -hmm. you, you actually have a dial now to go up and down so that's really, <laughs> yeah. really cool sure all right so this is the last question i ask everybody this question um so what is your design in game what is what's your your final act what is it when it comes to design like what i would want to be doing or like or the, doing where you want to be, what you want to be doing, what at the end of your career, what is your your end game? What are you wanting to that to look like? I I, I would just say continue on my on my road, um, not kind of conform to any 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 other anybody else. Let me start over. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. I would say to just continue on my road, um, gotcha. kind of like not conform to anybody else's standards or or anybody else's studio standards. Like mm -hmm. I love working for myself and and kind of just building my personal brand and just like each year keep building that. So that's that's my my plan right now is just keep building that and year after year growing year after year. Mm -hmm. So like just stay true to yourself. Like yeah. I think that's that's um it and I feel like you're like, well, it it doesn't feel like a lot, but that is a lot. Like just to be honest with yourself and like be true to who you are and just stay on that path. You're you're it sounds like you're open to whatever that gets you, like wherever that, that takes you to, and because it's on your own terms. Um so I, oh, great sure. answer. Yeah, <laughs> great I mean, answer. like <laughs> so even even something something as simple as like I, my my brand color used to be blue, and like I I picked that in college, and I couldn't even tell you why I picked that. And I'm like, mm -hmm. man, like I grew up in Pittsburgh, like this is like such a huge part of me. So I mean, that's sure. part of the reason why I sw like switched whenever I rebranded. I switched mm -hmm. my colors to black and gold because that's such a big part of me and who I was and I like to own that and you know like yeah that's dope your stuff looks so good I remember when I first saw it when you first put it out there I was like man this looks so solid like and I love your mark your D mark is so solid I appreciate um, that so yeah I definitely am a fan <laughs> a fan oh, of your work I appreciate it. no same back to you I mean it's cool to see like I, I love seeing how much you like explore stuff like like again with the motion like i just love seeing how much you explore things and like your drive and passion behind it like you can tell that you're you're like you're you're um uh, trying to think of the word here but like you're you can tell you're passionate about design for sure so yeah. I, I i through your work i can see that and like talking to you i can see that 
and like you you're really like living that so i i i appreciate that a ton i appreciate you um that's funny because you're like the second person to say that they're like uh that i'm really passionate about it and it's such yeah. like i appreciate that you're seeing that because i yeah. am like i love this i I want people to be able to have stuff that they fucking love. Like, mm -hmm. let's have things that you really mess with. Like, let's create great stuff to throw into the universe and just see what kind of happens with it. Um, yeah, for so sure. I, I'm glad we're both existing in this time right now because that's yes. really, really dope, man. Uh, I'm yeah. so glad you did this with me, too. So yeah. if I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, so if you would give us your socials so people can come and kind of hang out with you um what are those yeah so it's, it's just at dylan winters co on everything i mean twin uh twitter instagram um you can find me there got you um and again thank you for for hanging out with me today um if you are a listener out there or you're watching this on instagram or wherever you're at um i have put together a discord um, so that we can kind of all go and chill and have a community and talk about these episodes, talk about life, talk about anything you want to talk about. Um, come and hang out with me over on the Discord. Um, it's in my Instagram bio. Uh, just go click on Discord and it'll take you right to it. So come and hang out with me over there and there will be much more of these. And um, again, thank you, Dylan. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Thanks.